All right. I guess we can go sit down at our desk. Yeah. Never mind. Hi, oh, maybe I Adam? should call her. Where are you? Will you be taking the train? I have a coffee break now. Sure. Alright, so we need to go take the train then. I feel like the first thing each time we switch characters. Uh, it should be contact or go through the contacts. Let's see who's online. Because I didn't even realize that she was waiting for us. So we'll go do that. And then. Um, guess we'll see where else it takes us. To the clinic. Is it Liquid Sky? I guess that's her work. The clinic would be to see Dr. Sykes for John, but he's not with us. I don't think that she works at there. Because, yeah, she's like a designer or something. This world is a lot more futuristic than the other world, too. Oh, wait. Hey, I found your tracer thing. Okay. This is a cool area. There she there. is. Hello, Adam. You look you stressed. Look tired. <laughs> <laughs> you look tired. Ah, okay. You look stressed. Let's go. PDA. <laughs> Have you seen a technician around here somewhere? No. Why? Something and broken? See you. Nah. Don't worry. You remember Lun? She designed the hole. Well, not alone. Yeah, and everything isn't None. done yet, and it's all a mess. How does this work? What do we have to do? Turn your brain off. Perfect. Just what we need. Okay. How's John? He misses his mother. Oh, God. And I'm just... Leaving you both alone. Sunday. On Sunday, we go back to being a normal family. Isn't that also the day where something else goes down? Red night. Whoa. That's cool. Have you seen Dr. Sykes again? No, not yet. You should. Yeah, I will. Today. Pillar two, three. Sure, let's go with five. So, what's going on? Why did you want to meet up? You were so tense before. Is everything okay? I really have no idea. Yes? Okay. What would you say if... Don't worry. It's crazy. Is it about the accident? No. Not just. You're overwhelmed. No. So what is it? I sometimes... I sometimes That's pretty get this cool. feeling. I don't know how to describe it. Like deja vu? Holograms. Exactly like deja fog. Vu.
Just imagine someone tells you that your life, everything, is nothing more than some sort of imagination, a, a fallacy. Someone told you that? No, it's just... Who said that? Uh, nobody. It's just a hypothetical, but imagine if somebody came up to you and said just that. What would you do? What would you say? This is really eating you up, huh? Weird. Kinda cool though. Ah, uh, I get it. It's a balloon. I think I know that feeling. You know it? Of course. Sometimes I think I've gone mental. Or I'm dead. I mean, look at where we are, both of us, in this space, in this city. Okay. I'll tell you what I would do, Adam. I'd sit John on my lap, and to your somebody, I'd say, if this isn't real, then to hell with everything. Reality wants to kill us all, painfully and slowly, and without any point. But we have found the loophole, and we escaped. Something like that is what I'd say. Smart. Interesting. Imagine a song. A song with just a few notes. Restraint and stirring. Looping and fluctuating. Emergence of light. Iridescent and changing. A heightened state. Continual, lasting, peaceful. Pretty cool. Welcome to the city of the future, your city. Look around, let yourself free. Everything is possible, nothing is out of reach. Experience the variety, the change, the magic. Be a part of it all and be yourself. Or be whoever you want and what you want. Doubt and limits are just illusions. Is that a roller coaster? Enjoy. Welcome to That's the castle. Uh, building. Don't you have to go back to work? Made it looks mm, like. Yeah, I should return to the dome. The governor will be waiting. Hey, I could come visit you there tomorrow. Uh, well, you would need security That's clearance the dome. first. Maybe after we're done with Project Independence, okay? Huh. <laughs> And back down we go. Pretty cool. We should do this more often. Take care, Adam. And don't forget to see Dr. Sykes. Okay. So should we go see Dr. Sykes then? Who's going to be down there? that the guy with the machine? Yeah, it is. Go get him, Adam. Get him. I don't think he's actually there. Yep. Here we go. What the hell is going on here? Shh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
This is so bizarre. I should send it to Richard. The sooner I am done with this, the better. Alright, we're going home to go chat with Richard. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. Object sent successfully. January 15th, 2048. January 44, it's crazy, that's 28 years. Manhattan, Soho, Someday we'll be there. And I wonder if it'll actually be like this. <laughs> Alright, is it gonna be the bar? Does it always start with the correct one? I wonder. That's there. I yeah, I think it does. Okay. Here comes Adam. You must be what? Richard. John. Damn, what are you doing here in the cloud call? Does Damn. Adam know? What are you no. doing here? Listen, you wouldn't be allowed here. You'll get in trouble. I just want to talk to you. Of course. It's nice to meet you. I also... I also have a son. His name is James. Can I say hello to him? Well, you know, James and his mother aren't in right now. Are they together? I think so. Then James will be happy. For sure. Where did they go? I'm not certain. Do you miss them? Oh yeah, I miss them a lot. I miss my mom. Yes, I, I heard she's got a lot going on at the moment. John, what are you doing? I wanted to talk to Richard. I, I can't believe it. And he, he's letting it happen too. Hey, hey, relax. He just wanted to- You keep out of this. In your room. We will talk about this later. Angry boy. <laughs> okay. Unknown well, has sent you data. No, no, no. Enough. Go to your room. Damn. What's going to happen next? Twenty forty four. You have new cloud messages. Oh no. Your parents? You'll have to call them back eventually. Eventually? I have to go finish my term paper now. This is Lydia? What? No. What? What is that? That's, that's not real. It, it, that's not me. Wait, Wait what? Is she awake? Barely, but she shouldn't see us. Something's wrong. What's wrong? Is she scared? Scared? Of what? Heart rate's good, blood circulation. We're pumping her brain full of nano liquids, and she's scared. I don't get it. I'm increasing her sulfuride dosage. Must be some strange fear of death. Everything okay, Jeff? What the? I wonder, if things go south, which one of them will get a gravestone? The original or the copy? The one with 40% of the brain or the one with the other? I hope Dr. Kurtz knows what he's doing. Or else, I can hear you. God damn it, Ray. Sorry. How's the session going? <sighs> Lousy. The investors demand results. Or else they'll switch off our lights at the end of this quarter. Excuse me? God, I hate these people. I offer them immortality and what? they ask for a price. 55%. Yeah. Who's the donor? A student. Lydia Craig. A runaway. Homeless. No family ties. No friends. Uh, 
Her brain's being overwritten, and she's scared. Odd. Something you want to ask me, Jeff? Same as yesterday. What's going on in Section 1? Jeff, are we building a super AI? Look, I can't tell you everything. It's too important. You must be patient. Sure. How many times have I heard that line already? It's we like will Professor X. Humanity. We will deliver them. Deliver? How? All we make here are zombies and terrible robots. It's sick what we're doing here. Humanity is sick, Jeff. We are gonna heal it. Drought, riots, terrorism, a never-ending war on resources. Those aren't warning signs. They're symptoms. This world has been beyond hope for a long time, but we're the only ones to admit it. We're building a lifeboat. A lifeboat? Do you really think this arm saved my life? Feels like there's lead in my muscles, like chronic tendonitis. We can't even get a damn prosthesis right. Now, suddenly we're doing brain transfers? The arm is your mess, not mine. Hey! Now she's wide awake. Increasing sulfuride to 90. Uh. Let it be, darling. Fight it. Fight it. Don't fret. You're safe. The aerotrain to New York has arrived. Boarding will begin shortly. You have new cloud messages. Well, uh, Miss Craig, this is Mr. Minsky of the Ferthing and Sons Funeral Home. Uh, once again, concerning the cost of your parents' cremation, you've already been made aware that as the last surviving dependent, you're liable to pay. It will extend your period of payment until December 12th. Should you ignore us any further, we'll pass the case on to our law firm. Uh, yes, but uh, you know how to contact us. And once again, my deepest condolences. No new cloud messages. The doors are closing. Please stand clear. And? She's breathing. She made it, Bray. Blood circulation, heart frequency, all neural patterns have been transferred. Cellular structure. What? What is it? Her cells are rejecting the implant. Meaning? There are tumors forming all over her body. Congratulations, Doctor. Your lifeboat's riddled with cancer with a life expectancy of three and a half years. The investors will be thrilled. Jeff, Jeff, why so uninspired? Don't you see this is it? The next stage will end all of our problems. The next stage. Hush now, darling. Don't be scared. Just a few more tests. She doesn't even know. Make sure she won't remember us. Then set her loose in the city. Uh, Jeff, may I talk to you for a second? Oh, man. All right. Are they actually like cloning people? Or weeks later? January 29th, 2044. Do I. Do I know it? I think this is after they set her free. Uh, hi. Listen. <clears throat> I am hungry. What? Could I? You got no money or what? No. Then get lost. Hello? Hello, is somebody there? Go away. Stop bugging me.
But that. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Try this one. Hello? Please, can someone please help me? Fine, fine. I'm coming already. No need to scream, okay? <coughs> Halt! Do not move! Oh no. I haven't done anything. What are you doing here? Where are you going? I... Officer, she's visiting. Is she now? ID, please. Davis, Angela. ID 245432, Sector 57, West Queens. You live here? Yes. Come in, sweetie. Can I go? Yes. What did they want? I can't take this anymore. I just can't. Should I make a call? I just can't. Okay. Okay. Come in first. In. Ugh. You look terrible. What's your name? Lydia. Okay. Lydia. I'm Angela. So... What's going on? What are you doing here? Uh, I have to rest. You can't go home? Uh, you live on the street. Let me get you something to drink. Better? Much better. Okay, talk to me. Or, uh, would you rather rest up first? Can I take a look around? Of course, go for it. Ah, look who it is. You two have it nice here. Us two? I thought uh, because of the jacket. He moved out. Oh, it's Jason's. He moved out last summer. Damn it, why do I know this already? I just kept the jacket because, well, actually, I don't know why. Sorry, I didn't mean to... It's fine. I'm happy he's gone. Hmm. You're tired, huh? Where did you sleep last night? At the old subway entrance on the street. And where will you stay tonight? Do you want to stay here? I just need a little rest. <laughs> you don't say. Listen, you're completely exhausted. You're staying here. But I... No discussion. You can sleep on the couch. Oh. <laughs> Oof, that doesn't sound good at all. It's fine, just hurts a little. Hey, you don't happen to have any painkillers for me? Yeah, there are some in the bathroom. Wait, does that mean? Oh God, what's wrong, sweetie? You should see a doctor with that kind of cough. No, 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 I'm fine. He should be dead then, in current time then. Your boyfriend. Is that Jason? Yes. He looks nice. You can have him. <laughs> I don't need him either. Really? You got someone? Oh, well, you're in love. Something like that. Oh, come on, that's great. <laughs> he doesn't know, and he's married with a kid. Maybe you know him. Me know him? Hmm. Now I'm curious. I saw that you have a picture of him lying around. You're kidding. Wait, I'll show you the picture. Wait, who? They're my work clothes. Uh huh. It's work clothes? Babe. I thought only avatars did that stuff now. 
or bots. Oh no, there are still guys out there that want to see a real girl. Oh, okay. That's mom That's the photo. Dad. Pretty dorky, huh? I think they're sweet. I don't have a single photo of my parents anymore. I deleted everything. Hmm. Then you must have been mad at them. I was. And do you regret it now? I don't know. Yeah, probably. Where's the photo at? Oh, is it right here? Yeah, that's it. Here, that's him. What? That's your crush? You know him? You've fallen in love with Richard Nolan? You don't like him? Kinda old for you, isn't he? No, why? And he has a wife. He's famous, you're homeless. His wife is a supermodel. I mean, he doesn't even know you. Or have you been in contact with him? Of course not. <coughs> what would I say? Uh, well, that you like him? I can't well, just... Why not? Should I do it for you? Don't you dare. Twenty forty-five. All right. Isn't she in his phone? Cloud messages. Hey, sweetie. Listen. We'll February twenty-second, twenty forty-five. Just calling to let you know. <laughs> Kisses. <coughs> ah, what if he was? Hey, I'm at the drugstore. What do you need? And don't bother. That tea is disgusting anyway. But it helps. I'm going to go to the doctor. Not today, though. I have a customer. Who? That creep from Portland? Oh, stop it. I hope not. Don't take any crap, okay? Sure, Mama. Okay. Take care of yourself. Wait a minute. How much rent do I still owe you? 375 credits. <laughs> don't look at me like that. That's how much it is. See you later. Kiss. So they ended up staying together. And they remodeled the entire room. Chad, Hi. chat, Hello, bot Smith. Can I treat you right, sweetie? Wait, I, I'm not sure. It's my first time doing this. Well, what are you into? Maybe I can help you. I just want to talk to you. Without any of that, you know. How are you? I don't know. My roommate jumped out of our window today. Whoa. That's... It's okay. I hardly knew him. His work got to him, I guess. What do you want to talk about? Could you tell me your name? I mean, your real name. I'm Tom. I'm Andrea. Hello, Andrea. Don't you have anyone you can talk to? Well, you? <laughs> I have a boyfriend. We hardly talk. Hmm. He lives in Seattle. We both work a lot. Thanks, Andrea. You know, for listening. I have to go. Wait. Money has been transferred to your account. 100 credits. 100? Really? Hell. We need to do some more work. Next customer. Hey, darling. What's up? Hey, Crystal. What have you been doing all day? waiting for you oh i know could you do me a favor he said it for change it. your username to doll and what do you plan to do with me mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you're very quiet i'll tell you what came to me as i was thinking of you okay Shh. <laughs> don't say a word lay back oh boy no 
That's not right. I'll send you a skin. Put it on. Accept skin. I'm hanging up. That was weird. Ugh, what a psycho. Money has been transferred to your account. 200 credits. Oh, nice. Oh, 200? Ugh, you have to do one more. Walk decent for. Freak. Richard Nolan. Hi, Richard. And? Feeling okay? Well, sort of. You're not looking too well. Is it your... your work? No, I'm tired is all. Because of your work? Cybersex, Richard. You're allowed to say it. I'm not a whore. People don't even get to touch me. And not physically, at least. So what? Richard Nolan no longer gives a damn about the difference between virtual and real? I don't want to fight, Richard, but your double standards can be confusing. <laughs> I could always just give you some money. Are you serious? Of course. I'll wire you some over. I don't know what to say. James, just tell me what else I can do. You could come over right away. Oh, I understand. Then I guess I'll have to do that. Really? You would? That would be... But what about your wife? You know, Lydia, our relationship isn't the best in So he was. Is bitter for ages now. Oh. Yeah, I mean, look at her. Do you get what I mean? The scar? It was so terrible. Since she got the scar, though, she's totally changed on the inside. She got bitter, hardened. It's been like this for years. I totally get that. And meanwhile, you know, I don't really feel guilty anymore when I meet a girl without a scar. Sounds terrible, right? Yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, it does. I know. <laughs> but, do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. So, if you want me to come over, I'd love to, anytime. That would be nice. Yeah? Okay, then I will. I'll sort out a connection and call you back, okay? Okay. Looking forward to it. James? I'm sorry, I have to go, darling. Hmm. So he really doesn't remember, like, anything. But I like how we're getting all these memories back from, uh... Okay, I should make things a little more cozy here. <laughs> from Adam. Kind of cool. This damned smart home? Why now? Oh boy. <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. Perfect. Jamaica Avenue is the right address? Uh, yeah. Number 23. Okay. See you soon. Looking forward to it. <coughs> Damn it. Like. 
Oh my gosh. Stop! Hey! Not that too. What a mess. How do we turn that off? Darken. I want to look out the window. Why today? Play a romantic song. Damn. Music off. All right, we're gonna have to. Richard, just a moment. Ugh, off to a great start. <laughs> Play relaxing music. Not that. Oh, whoops. Play romantic song. No. Play dance music. This damn off. Music off. Damn off. Oh, my gosh. How do I get it to turn off? Play up tempo number. Not that. Music off. Play relaxing music. Nope. Off. Music off. How do we do this? Can we just let them in? So we need to interact with other stuff. Let us meditate. There we go. Finally. Sorry, I just had to. I'll let you in now. <coughs> Damn. on time Richard come in so yes there you are good to see you you too <laughs> I imagined our greeting to be a little more euphoric you know with kisses and hugs and all that what <laughs> yeah Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, me too. <laughs> mm. Wow, we're just getting started. Please, don't. Who's that? Sorry, I just had to... I'll let you in now. 
<coughs> Wait, what? Damn. What just happened? What? How was your trip? Okay. You have pretty intense neighbors. <laughs> oh? Who did you meet? Hopefully not Dyke. Unshaven guy with a hoodie in his mid-fifties? Uh, yeah. That's Dyke. Be careful around him. He sells information. You know, to cops, trashy mags, anyone willing to pay. Oh, great. He recognized me. He also knew I was coming here. Are you worried because of Tracy? That she'll find out where you are? No, no. Feeling guilty? Do you want to leave again? <sighs> if you're worried, then go. I, I don't want to spend an evening with a guy that isn't even really here. Uh, nonsense. Of course I want to be here. Fine. Just one more thing. You have to call home, right? I have to. My kid. I would have done it out on the street, but that dyke... It's okay. I understand. I'd also want you to call me. Should I do it outside? You can stay here. I'll go to the bathroom. Okay. Hey, it's me. Uh, listen, I'm in a bit of a hurry, just calling to say that I arrived well. Yeah, that's all okay. It's a nice hotel. No, no, I'm staying in. Guess I'll be sleeping soon. I'm pretty wiped. Is James doing fine? Give him a kiss for me. Oh, you hypocrite. I gotta run. Yes, yes, of course. I love you too. Yeah. Were you listening? At the volume you were talking at? I told you I would have gone outside. You wanted to speak with your son. I did. So what? Tracy is his mother. I love you too. Great. I know. I'm sorry. I need another drink. What did you expect me to say when I'm talking to my family as... As what? A cheater? As a father. Well, this got off to a great start. Come on, let's open a bottle. Okay. I want to apologize. For what? I would have reacted the same way. It's me who's the... Well, you know. The jerk. Exactly. You're not. It's impossible to change your life without hurting somebody. It's always hard. I don't want to hurt my kid, you know? I know. Actually, I'm just jealous. I wish I had a kid. Hmm. You? Do you want more kids? I don't know. Maybe it would have been better if Tracy and I had had no kids. Tom Steiner. sounds. James's birth, everything that happened around that time, was so horrible. Kurt's that Radiology accident, Center, scar. March 6, 3 p.m. I don't know. I never really connected with James. Sometimes I think he's not even really my son. As if she just inserted him into my life. Excuse me? That really does sound awful. Does James know? God, no. But maybe he senses it. Hmm. Adam is gonna throw off. What the hell was that? Hello, Betty. Come with me, little robot. John. Oh, damn. This is insane. Look for new data, he says. But where? Chernobyl. It's me, Richard. Made any progress? How did it go? 
I think that piece of data has been damaged. The scene seemed to be incomplete. Hmm. Did you see anything? Uh, a street, an apartment. There were two women. Two women? What did they look like? Did they have names? One was called... Uh, Lydia? Lydia? You know her, don't you? I know a Lydia, yes. What else did you see? Tell me, Richard. You contacted Lydia for your work, am I right? Yeah, exactly. Why? Just a thought. She talked about you. Okay. What did she say? That you were a famous journalist and whatnot. Oh, well, famous. But yeah, that's why she contacted me. How exactly does that relate to my son? Sorry, I was just curious. These simulations are intense. Sit. Your wife, Richard. Tracy? Yeah, what about her? How is your relationship? What do you mean? We're married. Do you get along? Sure. I mean, of course we have our differences, but that's normal. She has a scar on her face, correct? Ah, that's where this is going. Yep, she does. As I told you, we had an accident. The scar is pretty bad for her. And for you? What do you mean, for me? I feel sorry for her. I don't have the scar. I'm her husband. I always supported her. Can you uh, tell me anything about this woman? Where she's coming from, I mean. He's so confusing. No, Richard no is. Okay. Is there a problem? He, like, knows things, no, but he doesn't make them clear from the beginning. I just have a feeling. Did you see anything else? Anything about James? No. Keep it up. Send me more data. Okay. Sure, Richard. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go, uh... See Dr. Sykes? Or, let me contact these. Oh, wait, it's Adam. Adam? Hello, Amy. Is there a problem? I'm quite busy. Where are you? Who's with you? Miranda? From Archives? I'm in the Archives. Why? A Miranda. Uh-huh. Well, say hello. No way. She's pretty. I'd get jealous. Mm. What's going on, Adam? Where was I going? In the car. Home? At least I hope. Sorry, I really am very busy. Okay, then. See you later. See you later. I love you. Hey. Uh, later. To the clinic, I guess. I'm not sure what to expect next, honestly. Earth's Recreation Center. Welcome to the Kurtz Recreation Center. Kurtz? Mr. Newman, can we help you? I'd like to speak with Dr. Sykes. The doctor is examining someone right now. I only have a couple of questions. Something's not right. Since the accident, I... I'm sorry. I cannot help you, Mr. Newman. Please come again tomorrow. Adam, great to see you back on your Governor feet. King. Governor, how do you feel? Every day a little better. That's what I like to hear. Is there a problem here? No, no. I wanted to visit Dr. Sykes, but he doesn't have time for me. Then he must make the time. This accident should never have happened. Not in my city. I'm taking this personally. Tell Sykes to take care of this man immediately. Uh, I have to go. Get well, Adam. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Newman. Dr. Sykes is expecting you in Cognition Unit 2, <laughs> Hallway A01. A01.
Whoa. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. There he is. Still having trouble, Newman? Come, let's put you through the scanner. So, there we go. Please lie down and relax. So futuristic. Relaxed? Not at all. It's just scanning. I'll leave you here for a couple of minutes. Stay where you are. another fragment what the is that my memories where are they that's Tracy from Richard's records seen this before oh here we go what did I get myself into Okay, go ahead and sit back down then. shouldn't be there sometimes not that I know of no are you sure yes I'm sure hmm you did the right thing coming here Newman basically everything is okay but your scan has a couple of blemishes some doubling so to speak what like uh, schizophrenia well it's too early for a diagnosis at the moment, yes. I can only give you this advice. Go home and stay there. I'll inform your employer and contact you as soon as we have examined the scan properly. And please, don't be worried. Worried. I know. Thank you. Oh, man. May I ask you a personal question? It's about John. What about him? I should probably keep out of it, but, uh... Is he getting the attention at home that he needs? Of course. Why do you ask? Your boy is somewhat withdrawn. It would be good if he opened up a little. 
opened up. I really shouldn't get involved. I am sure you're good parents. Safe trip home, Newman. But if there are any problems with John, whatever they may be, you can call us at any time. Why would there be problems? It's okay, Newman. I just want to help. Safe trip home. Hmm. I need to send Richard the data. Surprised we still have to get to a computer just to send the data. Especially with such a high technology, uh... It's got Infinity Plaza. Uh, area. Or world, I guess. Technically. Let's run to the computer and send the information. Scan complete. Object ID recognized. Object sent successfully. All right, now they're Richard's life. That way we can decode it. Send it back. Geolocation January 15th, 2048. To these entries it could be some kind of laboratory. Okay. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Damn. Okay, that almost got it. There. I should upload it immediately. Okay. I thought it was going to be the room with all the uh, robots in the center of it. Jeff Kozowski. Okay, Jeff. I'm busy. What do you want? I want to talk about our agreement. What's there to talk about? Did something change? Yes, Richard. I'm afraid something has. The situation has gotten more intense. You don't say. Uh oh. Richard, you know Red One, the colony. You know, Mars, our future, last haven of mankind. My family's on Mars? Uh, no, no. They're not on Mars. How do I know? Because this is what the colony really looks like. Not a lot of future, is there? The entire Red One project's a fraud. A cover-up for something far bigger. How? What? Those people who get themselves scanned for Mars. We believe that sooner or later, they all end up in City 5. And they're not actually going to Mars. Surely you're not just calling to show me some slideshows. What do you want from me? We need to adjust our strategy. That's where you come in. I don't get it. We're running out of time, Richard. It's too late for an undercover operation. Breakpoint must go into open conflict. It's time for an uprising. You mean, a civil war? Boy. Sorry, do that without me. Oh, no. Y you don't get out that easy, Richard. The uprising needs a voice. What do you want? Access to your account at The Voice. What for? The Breakpoint Manifesto. On the voice in 48 hours. With my account? You must be crazy. What's in the manifesto? Nothing but the truth. I want to see it. I'll play it to you. A 
digital fascism has won power over our lives. It dreams of oh. a new humanity, a humanity without humans. It dreams of a new world, a world devoid of reality. A world without us. They promised that we would become one with the machines, the world spirit, the universe. They promised that we would become immortal. They promised to make gods of us. But they did not mean us. And now we find out. They meant themselves. They wanted to deify themselves at the price of our extinction. Breakpoint is leading the fight for biological humanity. We will not accept that we are replaced by AIs. We will not allow the guilty to close themselves off in gated communities. In virtual homelands, far away from the destruction zones they have left for us. Our bombing campaign has begun. Humanity is rising up. If you are with us, fight with us. You're insane. Do you think so? Aren't we writing exactly the same as you? I never tried to start a war. That's true. That was your biggest mistake. We don't just use words, Richard. We take action. Sorry. Without me, I'm not a murderer. No. You're a coward. However, you misjudge your situation. You can thank us for the fact that you're alive. If you don't cooperate, our deal is over. Think about it. I'll call you. Wait! What... What if they uploaded my family, just like they've uploaded me? Let's hope not, Richard. All right. What's wrong, Simon? You looking for something? Looking? No. Why do you ask? You're pacing up and down the place. Am I? I did not realize. I apologize, sir. You heard the cloud call, right? Of course you did. I'm sorry, sir. I could not avoid it. I know, of course, that you did not want me to. Hey, it happened. And? What do you think? I have too little information to make a judgment. I also have no right to make one. I'm still interested. As far Yes. You are being black- Yes, ex- Will you give in? I need- I understand. Hmm. I accidentally right clicked and then realized that that's all you do to, to kind of skip through. New data to your cloud hub. All right. So who do we betray this time? Mm -hmm. All right. Right here seems about a perfect spot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop off for today. Tomorrow, um, I should be back on tomorrow 